Hello everybody, this is Emmeth, and welcome back to more Eastward. Last time we uh, got here, uh, well we left New Dam City uh, on a train with Williams and uh, Williams, William and Daniel, uh, the robot, not the human. Um, we talked about the human, but we didn't see him. Um, and we ended up here. Uh, we ended up in, in a time loop of some kind uh, with the fog, and now we're here in Macaulaywood for some reason. And, uh, yeah, um, this is a weird place, uh, right away, but, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of monkeys here that are actors, I guess? They're filming a scene for Deadly uh, Dolls Upstairs, eek! Ook, ook, only dolls with permission from the producer allowed. Deadly Dolls? What's that? How could you not know what Deadly Dolls is? Eek, you plebeian? Or plebeian? Deadly Dolls is only the newest, hottest science fiction film to come out of Monk Hollywood. Right. Newest, hottest science fiction film? Oh gosh, that sounds pretty cool. Is it like Earthborn? Huh? Earthborn? Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I guess they just don't play it anymore, even though they can. But uh, not really. That's more of our um, period flick. Period flick? Yeah, you know, about the ancient times and all that. Ancient times? So that's what they're like. Anyway, I've already said too much. Can we go upstairs? What? The producer recommended you? Eek! That old ape. Fine then, you can go up, but quiet on set, you hear? Uh, should we go upstairs or to the right first? I don't really know what, um... I don't really know where I need to go. Um, I guess we can go upstairs. Stop it, you two. This is no time for fighting. Already the doll army has entered the city. Damnation! If only I still had my Beef Buster 5000. That old thing can. Don't make me laugh. The only thing that Uncle Bolt is good for is breaking down. Well, what did you say? You dare spl blaspheme against my Beef Buster 5000? I said it once. I'll say it again. That thing ain't nothing but an old thing can. Cut! Idiots, all of you. I said give it. Okay, pop I say. Sizzle pop. Ah, uh, you flea-ridden abdicarians know nothing. Okay, well, it's going too fast. Uh, what's sizzle pop, huh? You got any idea tomorrow? Sizzle pop, sizzle pop. Yes, I would say something along the lines of a sizzle followed by a pop. You think... You think this pineapple lad's about getting a deal you's talking about? I cannot say that. I cannot get that. I'm so bad at impressions, and when I... I, I kind of do it like a spur of the moment, spur of the moment impression. I can't get back to it within like five seconds. I have no idea what the hell is going on. You gotta use the three letter words with those guys. With these guy. Come on, E. Yeah, three little words. Hey, wait a minute. He's not a soprano, by the way. <laughs> Quiet on set. We'll take it from the top again. From the top. And where is Rotondo? He had better march his shapely derriere out here right now. Or I am going to ape. I'm going to go ape. Ape, I tell you. That's convenient. You are an ape. If he does not produce himself in one minute, he is fired. Fired! Uh, we should find him then, maybe. I just so happen to have a produce procured myself a freshly squeezed bottle of banana milk. What say you, my lady? Care to join me for a nip back in my room? Ugh, you sound like a human. Don't make me sick. Oh, but of course. But of course. I thought the more direct approach of the animals would thrill you. My mistake. My mistake. Look at this. That's cool. I see the chest. 
Uh, I'm guessing you have to go behind? Some more tokens. Now oh, we didn't talk to this guy. That rotunda went uh, running off again. What a wimp. At this rate, that part is mine. <laughs> okay. Darlings! Yes, yes, yes! Those corpse-like shoulders, that vague express expression, those palms as calluses that bears bedraggle as you, sir, are everything I look for in a man. Tell me, darling, have you ever wanted to be a star? Um, we're just looking for the... I'm the director of this outfit, and you are... I'm Sam, and this here is Ralph. Ooh. The Bedusa sent us. As lifeless a name as you could cold... As lifeless a name as your cold dead eyes. Why is he speaking... Sometimes the dialogue stops and sometimes it doesn't. I don't care who you rec uh, who recommended you. I'll be on. Uh, I'll be the one. <sighs> Excuse me, I can't read today. Apparently, I'll be the only one deciding who's to start around here. So come on, darling, show me your stuff. <laughs> okay, I guess Sam's acting now. Or I'm acting. What the hell? I guess I'm smashing up things. What is wrong with this microphone? It's far too quiet. My microphone- Is my microphone fine? I hope it's fine. I just lean forward to sh- Whatever. Give me another one. Much better. What is this? Why is your hair all over it? Whatever. I'll just use the old way. Now then, George. It's a uh, John, Mr. Director. John, darling, close your eyes. You're a young man without a future. A lazy bum who pile, whose pile of crunchy socks is higher than his dreams. I think that's is John, you know. But you're in love, darling. In love with a feisty jock of a girl. Who solicit, solicits you to take part in the school baseball championship. What you never could have expected, though, was that the girl's brother, yes, her brother, it's the captain of the baseball team. In order to prove yourself, you challenge him. Yes, you, the vulnerable, naive man who knows nothing of the evil of the world, faces off against the insatiable captain and his succulent abdominals. Can we get on with this already? Uh, don't rush me. I'm setting the scene. Anyway, that robot, that's her brother. How you prove yourself to him? <laughs> Well, it's up to you, darling. Now, start. I guess we're playing baseball. Yeah, I'm guessing we're playing baseball. I guess we're not supposed to hit him. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god. Okay, then I have to shot him on that one. Maybe. I don't have any points I need. Oh, come on. That's probably a bad score. I blew up the brother, man. That's how I prove myself. You... You monster! That performance, I, I'm speechless. Absolutely reclaimed. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, God. The inspiration is filling me. I can see it. The girl, what does she do? She hesitates. Does she comfort you? Does she care for her injured brother? The tension. And as for you? Oh, yes. For you, dear... George Herb. John, you now found yourself completely and hopelessly in love with baseball. Yes, yes, yes. I can see it now. I even have the perfect name for it. I shall call it Ballin' for Love. Excellent. But first, we need to finish shooting this movie. A 
I've seen all I need to see. Find me in the special effects car, would you, darling? Chop chop, back to work, you love lo Lolos. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know if you needed a better score or worse score or... I don't know how that works. These are fake, probably. Damn director. Don't know how he can see anything in a scrawny human like you. But don't get cocky. That part's gonna be mine sooner or later. Okay. If you say so. Do you say the same things? Do not talk to Bella like a human. You will make her sick. Uh, I will talk though. You the new guy? I'm the star actress around here. Hope we can work well together. Hmm? Okay. I guess that was story progression. The film crew? They're in a special effects car. Okay. Hello. Ooh, ooh, the director gave me uh, the part to you? Nothing for it then, I suppose. This guy always lets uh, opportunity pass him by. Thieves! What do you mean, thieves? They stole my part! Thieves, the both of them! Well, you weren't there. Why can we close this? That's weird. Oh, hey. You little devils. Usually you're supposed to wait till after someone leaves. Before just running all liquid and split into the bathroom. Why didn't you lock the door? But seeing as you're all so cute, I'll let it slide this time. Okay. Orangutan. Oh, hey. Here's all the peeps. There's, no, this is storage car. Well... This is not the film crew then, I guess these are the actors. Sorry folks, no autographs. Pretty old hands haven't recovered yet. Okay. Are you an actor too? Hmm? Am I an actor? Just cause I'm playing babysitter. Don't mean I ain't got the chops. You're looking at the great Makiki Bambuna. Picture this, a down on his luck boxer hoping to get back in the ring. There was nothing it could have done in my, it got in my way. There was nothing that could have got in my way. Tough as a rock I was. I trained every day, doing whatever I could, even using them frozen bananas. And this is an obvious reference to Rocky, but... Also, I could go up against the great Gorilla Creed, yes, definitely. In one pulse-pounding match. That was when my hands got rubbed out, so to speak. And they've been out of commission ever since. They're probably gonna find someone new for the sequel. Yeah, probably. Ah, newbies, you're late. Don't you get any sense of urgency? No, actually, no. No offense, but uh, you just gotta understand something, you hear? You humans, you ain't fit for Mount Hollywood. Probably not. Always coming and going and going and coming. And then as soon as you got yourself a little fame, hey, you let it go straight to your head. We don't need people like you here. I should be able to get that New York, uh, New Jersey accent down there. Um... The, um, yeah, the ma ma mafioso thing down. Because I've been watching a lot of Sopranos lately, so. Anyway. Care for a bottle of man and a milk? They say it's the best way to bring out your true talent on stage. Uh, do you have any? Oh. Okay. Fair enough. It's not very good. The frog cookies are okay, but... Mm. You're late! We're sorry. We didn't... Didn't... Which is fabulous! Just like true movie stars, darling. Remember, you don't wait for others, others wait for you. But isn't that rude? Perish the thoughts, darling. It's what they want. People are dying to wait on you. Okay. Get out there and make them cry, darling. To the stage. Today's scene stars you. Okay. Uh, we got a prop gun. I'm assuming we can't use that for anything good. Um, Considering it's a prop gun. But um, it might be fun. Um, All right.
It was a day in early fall. The heat of summer still sizzling off the dry ground. But to bite the winter just palpable on every passing breeze. Most of all, however, it was a good day to die. There was a sort of disquieted disquietude to everything. All across the landscape, life was succumbing to changes. Livestock, vegetation. It was all shifting, morphing, mutating into unrecognizable, gruesome creatures. In a lone mountain pass, the wind whipped to the ground. A tangible aura of bloodshed bloating the air. A man entered, dressed to kill, finger twitching with a lust to caress the trigger of his old rifle. He had arrived. Beautiful darling! That an uh, unimpassioned visage, that apathetic magnetism, a perfect engine styling, absolutely superb. I want this feeling to fill you, to consume you. Keep it up. All right, darlings. Next up, scene 15, a surprise from behind. Ready and action. Are we just supposed to... I'm guessing we're just supposed to blast. Alright. Just some action scenes. Sensational, a truly moving performance. Whip those froggers right in... On, to, on the tush. Remember, darling, your gun is the only justice in this world. Scene 16, a backstreet pounding. Ready and action. Enemies littered the road like tattered weeds. The sound of his gun, the toll of the funeral bell. Fun funeral? Funeral? Is that a misspelling or is that an actual word? I don't actually know. There was nothing now that could slow the feet of this hellbent gunslinger. Oh. Whoa. Soul action, baby. There's a treasure around here. Hideous alien creatures patrol the air as hellish beasts howl their murderous call. But patrol and howl they could they would no longer. For today was their day of reckoning. The second they opened their grisly jaws, the gunslinger shot them straight between the eyes. Chunks of brain and viscera flowing, flying as they were silenced on the spot. Okay. Ah! My eyes for talent is truly remarkable. Keep it up, darling. You're doing great. Up next, scene 17, Froggy Pound Town. Ready and action! Did I miss a treasure? Okay, I do have, like, lives, so to speak. This guy's a nuisance. Maybe I should, um, move out of the way and shoot him, like that. This moves fast, though. There you go. Marvelous, spectacular, a work of art. You're the best gunslinger I've ever seen, darling. But now for the true test. Show them what you're really packing. Scene 18, an intergalactic pummeling. Ready and action.
A shadows, the shadows grew long between the buildings as a fiery asteroid lit up the night sky. The nefarious assailant had appeared at last. Warning, warning, large object approaching. Oh my god, look at that. It's Godzilla. Super ultra extreme, man. Henshin. Oh, good, no. I, I, I know all those references. It's Ultraman. Ultraman versus... Godzilla, I guess. Save me! A young girl's voice pierced its way through the rubble and debris. Oh, it's Bella, whatever her name is. Save me, save me, super ultra extreme man! Forgive me, my lady, but this is more than a battle of life and death. This battle shall decide the fate of the world. I am truly sorry. And you call yourself a hero. I shall protect you, my lady. Cut! <laughs> Stupendous, sensational, a true work of art. Bella, you are goddess. Watching your performance like witnessing Jesus Venus herself emerge. In a full, full swoop, the man is dismantling the room. Oh my god. Can you not just talk? I want to read it. It goes too fast. I understand that it's a matter of him just speaking uncontrollably, but I want to read what he's saying. I can't read that fast. Am I like stupid in the head or something, or is that too fast? Got the plot, it's Favolo, so. Let's just get this over with. I'm gonna be late for my hair appointment. Of course, darling. Anything you say. <clears throat> All right now, darlings. Your mission is simple. Protect Bella with your life. Don't let those froggies touch a hair on a shiny... Chitta chin chin, you hear? Scene 20, a true hero. Ready? And action! How long is this gonna go not go on for? Woo! Perfect! My hero! Can I at least know your name? Jake? How dreamy! Which is quite fitting, really. Because the dream is all you're gonna be. Prepare to die, Jake! Oh, okay. Ouch. Oh my god! Oh wow, that was... very close.
That was very, very close. You, you won't stay? Stay? What? With this poor excuse for a hero? Or would you rather I stay with the Machiavellian monster? No, sorry, my friend, but this is the end. I must bid you adieu. Thus continued the great battle of the almighty giants. Never once did Jake look back. His keen eyes were focused into the boundless night sky. Astounding! I knew you could do it, darling. It's like a carnal beast in you has finally been unleashed. You truly are an actor. And Bella. Bella, darling. Of course, you too. Are we done here? I've got places to be. Of course, darling. Of course. You heard that, lady? That's a wrap. Pack it up, boys. Well. She is the star of the show. I must admit, even I was impressed with your performance. I look forward to our future collaborations. I don't think there will be one, any. Miss Bella, this way, please. John! You're a star now, John! A star! And this is only the beginning, darling. A titillating performance, truly. And to think it came from a human. You darlings go find your our producer now, you would you? Should be in the west westernmost room, the old scamp. He'll fix you right up at the room so you can get some shut-eye. Act just needed beauty sleep, you know. What about the rocket? We were hoping to get the rocket knights to rocket. Rocket knight? Ooh, ah. You're not talking about Earthbone, are you, darling? To think an adorable little button knows like you know what Earthbone is. Earthbone is. As for that rocket, though. You might have luck checking in a storage car to the east. Antiques pile up to the rafters in there. At any rate, enjoy your time in the spotlight, darlings. Let yourself go. Squander away your money. You know, what most celebrities would do with their fame. Yeah. Okay, so we are here. I'm gonna go back for that treasure. Um, and then I will end the episode, because this has been a long one. Oh, hey, what's up? The star, he approaches. Are you done violently bludgeoning us? Haha, <laughs> really a joke, my friend. Your performance, it was surprisingly good. Almost like that of a true gunslinger. Do not be senseless. There are no gunslingers in this day and age. But that weapon, it is most dangerous. We're not the mass. We were not masters of frog foo. We would certainly be riddled with holes right now. At any rate, you do some first-rate work. May this be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Let us make many a brilliant film together. Yeah, maybe. And now it's time for everybody's favorite part: the monster compendium. What monster are we gonna learn about today, huh? Only the most popular monster of them all, the Flaming Spark Ray. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. You're blocking the shot. Get out of here. I'm not blocking the... I'm not blocking it, though. I wasn't in your freaking eye of uh, the Eye line. Whatever. Let's get this treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going nuts. 300 salts. Okay. Is there anything else back here? This might just be the way to go, you know? Yeah, it is. Forget about it! No is no! And if you try any funny business, I'm gonna get angry! You ain't gonna like me when I'm angry! Simmer down, my simian friend! We merely wanted to have a little, shall we say, peek? Well, if it isn't my comrade in arms, this beeping is making me mad, man. You two know each other? Know each other? Why, John and I are nothing short of the greatest of friends. Well, I wouldn't go that far, William, but I do not dislike you, I guess. Pussin' buddies, confidants, soulmates. Well, not soulmates. Hey, sounds fishy to me. But what do I know? Fine, I'll let you in for a peep. But no messing around. 
anything funny happens in there, and it's me who's gonna be put through the ringer. Oh, wonderful. You have nothing to fear, truly. We're not those dastardly sort of people who would make nuisances out of themselves for no reason. Alright, fair enough. Uh, can I get to that chest? I don't know if I can get to that chest, and the beeping is making me freaking crazy. Alright, um... Okay, uh, we're gonna save. Um... Alright, that's gonna be it for today. I guess we just acted today. <laughs> so that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time for more Eastward when we do more among Hollywood monkey business, I guess. I'll see you all next time. Later.